Hi there guys, Darth Bulls here. Um, got a uh, little bit of an update of, um, of things I've recently purchased. Um, just thought I'd do this because um, I've booked a week off um, this coming week, uh, so I, uh, I'm not going to be doing a great deal, um, just kind of relaxing and stuff like that, but um, I have bought some new pieces and I'm planning on doing uh, a few reviews so I'm just going to give you a quick look at some of the bits I've picked up that I will be uh, reviewing I'm going to be uh, trying to review all of these throughout the week so um, I'll just give you a look um, yeah basically I picked up a couple of new figures uh, this one is the first one really really chuffed with this I was uh, lucky enough to pick this up from my local Forbidden Planet so obviously it's Shea Vizsla from the Old Republic really good figure and I can't wait to review that lots of features to it lots of um, <clears throat> accessories and the second one I'm going to be reviewing I mean I just can't stop looking at this this is definitely for the quality it's the best figure I think they've released to date it is unbelievable it is basically a scaled down sideshow collectible and it is obviously the new sand trooper from the vintage collection so this is the latest one they've released, the supremely weathered one and I am absolutely astounded by this. I've got it out and I wanted to keep it carded but the card is much the same as the uh, first Sand Trooper they released in the vintage collection. So I weren't too fussed and when you see it you have to, it's nearly impossible to like keep this on the card because it is just so good I cannot wait to review that just unbelievable it really is um, <clears throat> and the next piece that I've got is an interest, interesting one for me um, you know obviously I collect the new stuff and the vintage stuff but um, yeah I picked up some Lego a while ago I got the land speeder but I've just picked this up and I'm, I didn't really care too much for reviewing the land speeder but I really want to review this because this is just awesome I'll give you a look at it it's the Skiff, the Desert Skiff, a Lego, it's the latest Lego Desert Skiff, it's pretty new, uh, it's been out for a little while, but there has been various different versions of this release, but this is the latest one, it's really cool, it's so awesome, I've not built Lego in absolutely years, I used to, every, as everyone did, I used to love Lego as a child, and this stuff is just amazing, it's obviously as you know the Star Wars Lego has been out for quite a while now and it got really 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 popular and there's so much to it but for me having the interest in like mostly sort of the action figure stuff um, and things like that with you know the vintage to the modern stuff and the vehicles and all that stuff it's it's hard to try and keep getting you know going from getting bits of this bits of that but now you know I've got this, I'm going to be addicted, so I'm going to have to buy a few more sets, but I'll give you a look. This will be reviewed, and it is a phenomenal piece, and also what comes with this is another really cool thing, it's the Sarlacc pit, so that is just awesome. So I will be reviewing that as well, um, really chuffed that I picked that up. My uh, mate actually bought one, and um, I went around this, I look at it, and I was just like, yeah, I have to buy that. And as you know, with some of the Lego sets, they're ridiculously expensive, so that one was really cheap. For what it is, I think it's a good deal for all the figures you get and everything, really, really cheap. So, And last but not, by no means least, is an, a vintage piece that I picked up. Really random, and uh, it's, I just, I saw it, and... For the price and everything like that, it was really cheap, so I had to uh, had to get it because uh, it's still sealed. So it's got the original tape. It's never been removed from the box. It's never been opened. So I shall give you a look. It's this here. It's Chewbacca's bandolier strap. I believe I pronounced that right. The bandolier strap. So basically, what it is is obviously Chewbacca wears his uh, wears the strap that's uh, attached to his uh, bag on his side, and um, they've done like a toy version of it back in, uh, this was 1983, yeah, this is a Kenner release, and um, yeah, it's really cool, they uh, <clears throat> they kind of released this, and it's, uh, it doubles up as a sort of role-playing playing toy, and a, uh, an actual kind of a carrier case for your figures, so really, really cool, and it's just so funny, um, I'm not going to review this as such, because uh, 
it's like I said it's sealed so it's never been taken out of the packaging so I can't really review the contents I just wanted to show you this because I just thought it was really cool for the price they're quite cheap to buy boxed but this one is sealed so I thought that was really cool um, and as I've said before with vintage stuff I love the history behind it like who owned it for and stuff like that and the interesting thing with this one is it's a can of release and if you look just now it's a Toys R Us sticker so at some point in a Toys R Us in America someone purchased this and in the 29 years after that it somehow managed to work its way over to the UK and it's never been opened so you know really cool really interesting to it'd be really cool to know what this uh, the story was to this but yeah really cool it's got the picture on the front there so we've got the sort of picture of the actual product got the uh, sign there Chewbacca Bandolier strap, Return of the Jedi, and on the other side here we've got the Kenna logo. Up the top we've got an absolutely hilarious picture of a, a young boy sort of modelling the uh, the actual uh, bandolier, and a little picture of Chewie there, and the logo and everything over there. And on the reverse here we've got a like a larger picture, and it's just so funny. It's some like it's like a young a lad sort of you know displaying it looks really really funny really uh, vintage and retro and then a picture of the chap himself the Wookiee himself Chewbacca and then to some of the features on the other side here it's a bit awkward to review this it's uh, it's quite large and then we've just got some some of the features and stuff of it but yeah I was just really happy to to see this because um, I thought it was really cool I asked to like have a look at it got it out of the cabinet and um, I just thought it was cool and then when I found out that it was still sealed and it was only like cheap I just uh, I couldn't really not buy it to be fair it's uh, it's just one of those cool cool pieces and a funny one you know so in nice condition as well for what it is but oh wait, I can't be reviewing that anyway I've pretty much done a rundown of it there anyway uh, but my latest pickups and stuff like that have um, I will be. I want to review the skiff and the uh, my two new figures because they're just really really cool figures. Um, so I really want to really want to go more in depth with them. But yeah, so the contest anyway. That's that's over now. Um, and as you all know, if you've seen the video, Daniel East one thousand has won that. So Daniel, if you're watching this, um, or if you see the video, um, I will be posting your stuff this Monday. So tomorrow. Um, depending on when you see the video or whatever it will be uh, Monday so that will be yeah uh, have a look our calendar it should be Monday the 1st of October so it will get to you by uh, probably Wednesday Thursday and uh, I'll be packing it all nice and safe and secure and with regards to that anyway uh, my video I, I did say that what in in some of my comments I was gonna actually um, <clears throat> reveal my favourite, my own personal favourite Expanded Universe character because I've asked you guys that, that was part of the, you know, the actual uh, en con like the entry to the contest but I forgot in my video to actually reveal that but if, you guys are probably not interested but if you are anyway um, it's, for me, I've followed the Expanded Universe since the mid 90s, since like stuff like Tales of the Jedi and stuff like that since the early days of Dark Horse um, Star Wars stuff I've been all I've followed it from really really little so I've got absolute ton it's it's near impossible for me to actually give one so um, I've got a few that are in my in my top like I love the Heir to the Empire um, and 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 uh, what is it Heir to the Empire Dark Force Rising and um, The Last Command, you know, so the Throne trilogy, so I absolutely love Grand Admiral Throne. he's a stunning character and he just looks awesome and he's always been one of my favourites. Another one of my favourites is uh, Mara Jade, obviously, you know, she's an awesome female character and there, she's, she started, you know, her first appearance was in the, the Thrawn trilogy, and she's gone a long way in the uh, in the actual um, EU. Obviously, ended up marrying Luke Skywalker and having a son, which was uh, Ben Skywalker. And then she's now in like chronologically now she's she's died in the um, 
the latest, some of the latest novels. Um, so she's always been a major favourite of mine. Just recently read Darth Plagueis, so he, I absolutely love Plagueis. But for me, I have to say, overall, um, my favourite, if I had to put one as my favourite, really difficult, it would be Darth Bane. I love the Sith, and Darth Bane is amazing. The There is a Darth Bane trilogy of novels that have been released, and um, it's an absolute must-read for any Star Wars fan, and especially Expanded Universe fans. It, they are so good and so dark, and it, uh, it, it chronicles like him f finding the dark side and uh, finally becoming a Lord of the Sith and then like training up his apprentice and stuff like that. And amazing. I think it's, uh, the three novels are based over a period of about 30 years. So absolutely amazing. And Darth Bane, for me, is such embodies the Sith. You know, um, he establishes the rule of two or kind of establishes it you find out you know stuff like he uh, he goes to uh, in search of different holocrons and stuff like that and he discovers Revan's holocron so Revan and Malik how they were they had like a rule of two so Bane kind of re-establishes that and re-establishes the uh, name Darth um, and he was just such a badass he's so ruthless so, so dark and he looks so amazing and yeah, so for me, I'd probably have to say Darth Bane. And like I said, there's a there's a hell of a lot of uh, of awesome characters like Borsk Failure, and also I could I, mean, I could I could name absolutely tons. But yeah, I'd have to say Darth Bane. So I've rambled on about that anyway. But as I said, um, I have a week off now that I uh, I've booked off. Um, it's my girlfriend's birthday at the end of the week, uh, so um, on Saturday, sixth of October. So we're going to be doing something uh, special for that, hopefully. Um, but and that was kind of the main reason I had to like des uh, like um, put my hol like book my holidays earlier in the year. So I thought, you know, sort of but have this week off. Uh, and so with my new pieces, I will be doing some reviews. And I've got another awesome piece as well. The um, I've actually ordered a vintage carded figure, and it's an exceptional one. It's a uh, a Kenner card, but it's a Canadian release, so really cool, and I've never owned a Canadian card, so I can't wait for that, and it's actually Klaatu, so it's um, Woof from the Vintage Collection, it's the original carded version of him, so it's in mint condition, I can't wait to get that, I um, got it, uh, bought it on eBay yesterday, so that should be coming uh, probably midweek, I think, so I shall be reviewing that, and I'm really excited about reviewing that. So and uh, well, that's that's about it, pretty much, guys. So throughout the week, what, look out for my videos, and I'll, uh, oh, pardon me, I um, I will be doing some uh, some reviews in this stuff. So check that stuff out, guys. Take care. Have a nice remainder of the weekend and a nice week, and may the force be with you.